Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play. There are a lot of things that I want to do in this episode and most of it involves me going into my Crimson World which we created before. And we won't be doing that for a little while but, you know, just to start out, we've got a bunch of stuff we need to do. So if we just go on our inventory really quick, as you can see, I have got a bunch of cutlasses. And that of course means I did have another pirate invasion uh, off camera, so I went ahead and defeated it. I've got three cutlasses from them, which is pretty damn awesome. I also defeated a bunch of uh, Eaters of Worlds, which is pretty cool, so we've got all this stuff here. And I've also gone ahead and done a bunch of farming. So I went to the Corruption Biome and farmed a bunch of Corruptors to get some vitamins or vitamins, however they how you might have pronounced it, I really don't care. And also, this thing, the trifold map, which is dropped by the light mummies. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of other enemies that could drop this, but I got it from the light mummies, which are the mummies that spawn in the hallowed desert. So that's pretty damn cool. So, yes, we got a bunch of stuff. And we also managed to get one of these things. So while I was farming all the corruption mods, Mods? Mobs? <laughs> I got a corruption key mold, which is insanely amazing. Oh man, so eventually we will... Well, we will wind up opening the Corruption Dungeon Chest and getting the Scourge of the Corruptor out because it's a very good weapon. But before we do that, let's get on to the things I want to do today. First of all, selling things. I've got a whole list of things I want to do today, so I'm literally just going to get on with it. So I'm going to sell all of this stuff. I have absolutely no need for any of it. I certainly don't need multiple cutlasses, so that's all good right there. Okay, so step uno is done. So let's move over to the Tinkerer's Workshop whereby you can see we can make a bunch of stuff. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. So we've got armor bracing, which is awesome. We've got the plan, and hopefully, oh my god, the first time I've ever made this thing in any Let's Play, the Ank Charm, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> let's go! The Ank Charm! The... Alrighty, guys. Sorry for that random cut. I was very rudely interrupted by a damn phone call. And I really do hate our phone in this house. It makes a stupid noise and it's very, very loud. So, without further ado, back to what we were going to do, which involves the Ank Charm and the Obsidian Shield. So, if we just go ahead and grab this. Oh, my God. Holy goddamn crap. The Ank Shield, ladies and gentlemen. If we get warding on this first time, I am I'm going to poo my pants. Oh, it's a fleeting one. Okay, I don't have to pee my pants. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> oh my god. I kind of do want to get a uh, a modifier that involves either damage or defense. So I'm going to go ahead and loot all of this. Four platinum coins, ladies and gentlemen. I went to work. I really went to town on these damn bloody... Oh, on the dudes off camera. Holy moly. Okay, here we go. Ten gold. Violent. Mega speed. Don't want that. It's one defense, don't really want that. Okay, that's pretty cool. So that's seven defense in within itself. That's awesome. So, okay, we're now up to 81 defense, ladies and gentlemen. Ho -ho! Okay, we've got one of the absolute best accessories in the game. That is fantastic. And talking of fantastic, we are also going to go over to the Tinkerer's Workshop. We are going to make an Avenger emblem. Ooh, it's an arcane one. Nice, so 12% increased damage. And if we make a power glove, we can do this. We can make a mechanical glove. Oh my god. Increased damage and melee speed? Ooh, okay, what does this do? Warding power glove. Uh, knockback and melee speed. So, okay, we've got a magma stone as well. Uh, I don't see why not. And we can make this thing as well, the fire gauntlet. Ooh, look at this. It only does 9% melee damage though. Why does it get less and less the more you upgrade it? Doesn't that suck? Hey, we got, <laughs> what? We got armored. Dude, that is so awesome. Okay, alright, alright. I'm all good with this. Let's go ahead and get that in there. Oh, wait. No, hang on. Other way around. I want to put the balloon... Yeah, that's it. There we go. Good stuff. So, these now do 68, 26, 49, 40. Alright, nice, nice. Look how clean our inventory is now. It's so cool. Oh, man. We didn't even have to spend too much to get the Blumen Ank Shield to get a good modifier, did we? Oh, my God. So, one of the things I've also done since the last episode is a bunch of chlorophyte mining. As you can see, 325 chlorophyte ore. And you might also be able to see that I've got a bunch of glowing mushrooms. And before doing anything, we need to create a house in the mushroom biome that we have. 
Alright, so we just grab that and grab some of that. It's just going to be a basic house. Nothing too fancy. So, okay. Uh, nothing too fancy, he says. Okay. Alright, we only have a golden door. I can't be able to make one. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. So, what I am doing here is I am going to attempt to get the truffle NPC to spawn. I hope this works. Ooh. Ooh, the music's changed. Okay, good start, good start. Is this going to work, yes or no? I really hope the answer is yes. Because I'll be so happy if it does. Okay, here we go. Put that there. Put that there. If we get rid of that. Okay, all good. This is still classed as a thing by him, a mushroom by him. Ooh. I am excited to see how this goes. Right, okay, we need to get a light source really quick. Uh, can we make a light? Yes, we can. Okay, good stuff. Can we make a light? What kind of a question is that? There we go. Right, now I'm pretty sure the truffle NPC should be able to spawn there. Because the music and the background changed, it was officially classed as a mushroom biome. And it is daytime. So, truffle NPC? Are you going to spawn for me, buddy? I really hope so. I mean, I guess while we're doing this, we can go ahead and make a bunch of uh, chlorophyte bars. Right, here we go. How many? 54! Holy moly! Right, so if you haven't guessed already, what I would really like to do is create some Shroomite armor. It is one of the end game sets of armor. It requires uh, glowing mushrooms, chlorophyte bars, and something else. Something else. The uh, the auto hammer, is it called? To make the Shroomite bars? And then you can make it into armor like this. Oh my god. The armor that I want to go for is the one with increased bullet damage. Because as well as having... Increased bullet damage. There's so many other perks to having it as well. So that's why I'm doing it. Ooh, hey guys, something else I forgot to show you. Check this out. Boom! That's right. I did what I said I was gonna do. I got a teleporter set up. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I completely forgot I did that. Jeez. Okay, there was something wrong with my memory. I'm pretty damn sure of it. Oh, truffle, please spawn. Hmm. Alright guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead, hopefully, to when Truffle spawns, and I will meet you guys back when he spawned, basically. See you in a sec. Hey! Hey! There we go! Where is this little bugger? <laughs> oh my god. So just to clarify, it's been probably about 10-15 minutes since the last cut, and I was starting to think that I wouldn't get Truffle to spawn in, which is why I went ahead and made two more mushroom biome platforms. Now of course, since he's spawned in now, these don't really have a use apart from farming. So that's exactly why I'm going to keep them here. We're going to let the mushroom grass spread across, and then obviously the mushrooms can grow on it, which is awesome. So, what we need to do is we need to go up to Truffle, and we need to buy the auto hammer. Alright, where is it? Oh, one platinum! Holy moly! Okay, what else did he sell? A mushroom spear. Good lord! A hammush? Uh, I tell you what, I'm gonna go for mushroom spear. Just cause. There we go. My god. How does that- What the hell? Whoa! Oh, oh my god! Okay. Uh, I've got some things to do. I've never ever had these things before, so I'm gonna have to try and research how the hell they're better than the rest, I guess. Right, okay. I'm running out of space for our blooming furniture. Uh, okay, I can put that there. What the hell? Look at this. For the first time ever in the entire time I played Terraria, this is the first time I'm making Shroomite bars. How many can we make? Oh, we can make all 54 into Shroomite bars. Nice. Okay. Right, the question is, how much armor can I make? Can I make a full set with that? I have no idea. Can we or can we not? A Shroomite digging claw? Ooh, Shroomite leggings. Right, which which is the one that does bullet damage? Oh, this one, okay. So Shroomite mask. They all do 11 defense, which is nice. So we want the bullet one, so there we go. Okay, we need a chest plate, which is this. And we need the leggings. No way! No way did we have just enough to make that! <laughs> what the hell? Are you for real? Oh my god, that's awesome. Wait, I want to see what this looks like with like absolutely no vanity sort of armor on. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. What the? Ooh! Hey, look, I go invisible. Holy moly. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Set bonus. Nothing move it, not moving, sorry, puts you in stealth, increasing ranged ability and reducing the chance for enemies to target you. Okay. So 15% increased bullet damage. 13% uh, increased. Oh my god. 
What the hell? Oh my god. 51 damage for a Mega Shark. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm excited as hell now. That's the... Oh, 33? Oh, I get it. So, ah, so when you're not moving and you go in stealth, it gives you... Ah, that's why it does that. Okay, how much does this cost to reforge? 23 gold. Forceful. I want damage. 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 Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Godly. That's a fantastic thing. Right, the only bad thing is I don't have any chlorophyte ore left. Which is kind of bad, because I wanted to buy a bunch of chlorophyte bullets so I can go into the Crimson World and uh, do some things. Actually, no, I still need to defeat the uh, the Plantera boss a couple more times before going into the Crimson World. Ah, oh, man. How many bullets do I have? 624. I'm pretty sure that's enough to defeat Plantera. Pretty damn sure it is. I am pretty damn sure it is. I'm pretty confident that that's going to be enough. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to meet you when I find my first Plantera bulb. See you guys in a sec. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, isn't that convenient? <laughs> We've got a Plantera bulb right next to our Bloomin' Elevator. Oh, man. My luck today is going my way. I like this. Right, okay, we do still have our little wisp in a bottle, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's go down here and let's clear a little bit of space out because I don't particularly want to die today, ladies and gentlemen. I want this to be a successful episode. I'm not having a repeat of the Golem fight. No siree. Wait a sec, there's a bunch of dudes around here. Let's kill them all. There we go. There you go. There we go. Isn't it nice when things go your way? It sure is. Okay. Okay. All right, all good. All right, let's dig this bit out. I want enough space to be able to move around him, like you saw in the first fight I did. Oh, 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 okay, that was... That was not planned at all. Uh, hmm. Well, uh, it seems like we're defeating Plantera right now. Whoever the devil he or she may be. Uh, oh, hi. How you doing? Hi, how you doing? Look at the crit chance. Look at all the crits. There's so much crits going on right now. Okay, this is... I'm literally just going to have to go up and down. I'm losing a lot of health right now. This is not good. Okay, let's try and find a relatively open area right now. Okay, this seems okay. I'm trying to avoid him the best I can. He's doing damage. A fair amount of it as well. Okay, oh, this looks like a pretty... Pretty open area? Fairly open area? I don't know. Okay, this might wind up getting pretty difficult. And health? I don't have health potions! Oh no! Oh no! I have no health potions! Oh no! Oh boy. Okay, he's halfway dead. If we could just avoid getting hurt, then I'll be alright. I can't avoid being hurt! This is not a big enough area! This is not a big enough area! We're gonna die! He's in a second form! I am so going to die. Yep. <sighs> Auto mine, ladies and gentlemen. Why you shouldn't use it? Great. Well done, Python. Well done. Well done. I hate auto mine. Ah, I wouldn't say that. It's useful in some circumstances, only some. Like, for example, putting background walls in and mining out a elevator really quickly. But apart from that, it's completely useless. I hate it. Right, okay. In which case, I'm going to turn it off. Damn thing. Right, okay. Well, that was a thing. Right, okay. I think this time it will be a good idea to take down some health potions, right? Yeah, that would be a good idea. Really, I don't have any greater ones left. <sighs> okay, this, this is not going the way I wanted to. Crap. Crap, crap, double crap, triple crap, and more. Oh, uh, uh, what am I doing? I need to make, I need to make some greater healing potions. I don't have any bottles. Oh my god. I honestly thought I had a whole wad of them things left. But I evidently don't. Which is great, let me tell you. Right, okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead. And I'm going to try that thing again, because I'm not going to let that get to me. Not at all. Not at all. Right. I shall meet you guys back down by the Plantera bulb. Uh Guys! Guys! 
Hey, look at this! Solo clips! Oh, man. Okay, I am actually happy with this. I'm happy that this is happening right now. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the old place, and we're going to take this thing down. Uh, hmm. Yeah, so once again, ladies and gentlemen, nothing is going to plan. <laughs> but on this occasion, on this occasion, I, I am okay with this not going to plan, because I need to get some broken hero swords. If I don't get one today, then I don't know what to do, because uh, broken hero swords... Are very much needed if I want to progress on. Right, okay, let's let's move out over here into the flatlands. It should do the job real nicely. There we go. Kill everything with fire, please. Everybody die. Everybody's gonna die. Right. Okay. Right. Actually, I've got an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Do I have any battle potions? I absolutely do not have any battle potions. In which case. Do I have the materials to make a battle potion? Let's just try this out. Battle potion. We need death weed. We need death weed. We need rotten chunks. And a water bottle. Hey, if you could die, that'd be great. Thanks, bud. Right, okay. Let's keep going. So, we want some battle potions. Fantastic. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to teleport back to our old place, and then we are going to carry on this thing with increased spawn rates. Indeed, you heard that correctly. Boom! Oh my god. Here we go. Almost certain death, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. This is, uh, this is quite the pinnacle of entertainment, isn't it now? Wow, even my bananas do flame damage. See, look, there's... Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. I've got a blooming meteor outside my house as well. Yeah, that happened. So look, look at this here. <laughs> Isn't that kind of dumb? Okay. Can you, like, die? I should probably mine this out, shouldn't I? Okay. Yeah, that, there's a whole bunch of dudes. They are overtaking... Uh, alright, alright, okay, okay. Alright, that's how it's going to work. We're going to go away from the meteor, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go over here and do the battles. Oh, hello! Where are you dudes at? There's supposed to be an increased enemy spawn rate, and, uh, yeah, well, there just isn't. There just isn't. Oh my god. Oh, hi! Are you gonna drop a death sickle for me, buddy, 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 bud? Please? I can't even speak today, apparently. Alright. Yeah, yeah, banana rank. Yeah! Yeah! Get killed! Yeah, buddy! Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, good lord. Okay, alright. Now we're getting the increased enemy spawn rate. Keep the death. Keep it rolling. Keep the death rolling. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, crap. I'm out of mana. God damn it. Hmm. Right. It appears we're going to need to go chlorophyte mining, but I will do that off camera because we've done enough of that during the series. So, you know, I don't want you guys to have to watch the same things over and over. So don't worry your faces. I'm doing my best to uh, have a bit of variety in the series. I did not expect a second solo eclipse, but it is very much needed, so I guess this is absolutely fine. I have no problems with this. Now, unfortunately, uh, during that cut where I was getting health potions, I only managed to make three, and I've just used one. So, uh, yeah, that's that's not entirely helpful, is it, ladies and gentlemen? So we're going to have to resort to using these 100 health ones. Yeah, that's a thing. Oh, hi. There you are. Huh. Okay, so do they spawn in, like, waves or something? Is that how it works? Because I've got no idea. Alright, keep it going. Come on, broken hero swords. Broken hero swords. Let's have a lucky broken hero sword. I've got to stop, like, walking into these dudes. Like, for real. I've got to stop doing that. It's a pain in the butt. Come on, come on. Hey, yeah, yeah. There you go, you're dead. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, yes, quite. A solo eclipse, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. I was not expecting this. Jeez. Hello. I can't believe I haven't got any rare mob drops yet. I'm so disappointed right now. Could I get like one rare mob drop? Even if it's not a broken hero. So oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, time to run. I'm going to set my spawn point in the old house. Ha! Ah! 